Good morning, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aquarius? You can ring my bell, or ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Aquarius. Oh, sweet Jesus. And my nose is itching already. Aquarius, what the fuck you got going on? Okay, that's interesting, Aquarius. I left them up from uh, the last reading. Okay. okay, let's see if they come out. Aquarius, some of y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Okay. What do you have for my Aquarius Collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. What's up for my Aquarius Collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, what the fuck? Of course, you're an air sign. Bloom where you are planted. <laughs> You're going to grow. Uh, number six. Six, harmony. Happiness. Get outside. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy. Uh, bloom where you're planted, right? Uh, a tree grows in Brooklyn. But whatever situation is, whatever the hell you're stuck with, you might as well make the best of it. How can this be a wonderful win-win-win? Yeah, okay. You're going to be asked to just make do with what the hell you got. <laughs> you are perfectly imperfect. Okay. Uh, so you might be feeling a little down. Maybe you made some decisions in the past and now they come back to haunt you. You were at the divine Y point in reverse and the soul giraffe in reverse. Uh, so, okay. Aquarius, you might... You might have your world turned upside down. You've hit a you've hit a hiccup in the road. Okay, you've hit a pothole. Something something's something's come in to knock you uh, off balance. You know, with that giraffe, maybe you were always able to foresee, and this just come out of the blue. Okay, it's not necessarily have to be a negative, but it might just it's a hiccup in the road, right? Some of you definitely could have been a money hit, a job hit. Um, the Y in reverse numbers we got uh, 7, 33, 34, and 16 plus 6. So 616 could mean something. 3334, uh, 7334. So some of y'all may have put your neck out on the line for something or somebody, and it come back to bite you in the ass as well. Okay, Aquarius. You're going to have to take the loss, though. So, you know, suck it up there, uh, Aquarius. Suck it up. Allow your work to become your art. So some of y'all may be having to rethink job. If this is job-related, there you go. You might be having to rethink your work, what you do for work. What do you have in my Aquarius collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. Aquarius, uh, I... You definitely could be dealing with the Leo. If you got Leo anywhere in your chart, Aquarius, check out Leo's reading. What do you have for my Aquarius collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. What do you have for my Aquarius collective? Remember, you can turn negatives into positive. It's all in your outlook. It's all in your outlook. Aquarius. Okay, Knight of Wands in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun card in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this could have come out of the blue. Uh, some of you, maybe you tried proposing to somebody, and maybe they turned you down. For some of you, this could be a split up of a family. That you've been trying to avoid that Knight of Wands in reverse. Or trying to avoid someone else from doing this. Uh, there's no happiness. Uh, the sun. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Maybe some of y'all hanging on to a baby mama, wifey, relationship, partnership. Ladies, you know, hanging on to a man. Thinking, uh, you know, everything was going to be good. Knight of Wands. Maybe you were thinking someone was going to come in and do the right thing, and they didn't. Um, so, this is the... This is that hiccup. This is that hiccup, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, three of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Cups in reverse. Uh, you could Maybe you couldn't work it out. 
But you're going to be getting an uh, opportunity here. Okay, Aquarius. And um, maybe this is just about money. If you tried working really hard to get a partnership or keep a relationship going, maybe you're done doing that. Right? You're not giving to this situation anymore. You just couldn't work it out. Sometimes you just can't fucking work it out. Uh, quit beating a dead horse. What are you going to accomplish? Right? That's just a drum. Uh, you're going to create a rhythm. A toxic rhythm. A toxic cycle. Right? You got to do the healing. And yeah, it's going to hurt like a motherfucker. There's no doubt about that. Broken heart. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Right? Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. The love is gone. So... Uh, whatever the hell you're holding on to, I don't fucking know. It ain't love. For some of you, it's just money. Uh, you know, uh, when you marry for money, you earn every penny. Justice in reverse with the page of wands. You might have had the money. You might have had the, uh, how you want to put this, Aquarius? You might have had the money. You might have had the credit cards, but you couldn't fucking, uh, buy anything, right? Uh, I'm thinking back to that song, um. Uh, you can build a mansion, but you just can't live in it. You're the fastest runner, but you're not allowed to win. Some of y'all, that's it. You might have had it. It might have looked good on paper. It might have looked good sitting in your accounts, but maybe you couldn't have touched it. Justice in reverse here with the page of wands and the devil in reverse. It's all like an illusion. It was a trap. Uh, that money... Caught in a trap, can't go back, because I love you too much, baby. But there's no love in this. Uh, so Aquarius, that fairy tale didn't turn out the way you thought, huh? When you marry for money, you earn every fucking penny. Now, Aquarius, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone you're dealing with. Uh, eight of Wands in... Ooh, eight, okay, well, a flip to uh, the upright. Eight of Wands. You're going to be hearing about something, but I think someone's just more worried about their stability. So if you're the one that controlled the purse strings in this situation, if you're the one that uh, uh, took care of the nest egg, or you're going to hear some information about someone's nest egg... Someone could have been hiding some money or something from you. You're going to be figuring this out. Some of y'all, an attorney is going to figure it out. Uh, a family member. Uh, this King of Swords energy, I'm thinking someone that you paid. Uh, if you've ha had research or had someone looked into. Uh, maybe when all else is done, you know, this could be mediator energy, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of stake here. And someone could have thought there was just going to be a big payout. But they realized the money, it, it was like an illusion. This is, you might look good on paper, but as far as putting that into, uh, you know, uh, liquid assets, you can't. You know? Um, if you have all your investments in one area, but you can't necessarily cash them in if you need to, it's kind of that energy. Right? It looks good on paper, but as far as what you can actually get a hold of and actually spend, it ain't shit. It ain't shit. Some of y'all could have hired a detective. Uh, this could be lawyer energy. This could be paralegal energy. Somebody's looking. Somebody, uh, there definitely could have been some deception in here, right? We had the devil showing up. Someone might have been trying to hide some uh, uh, shit. Some of y'all could be finding out some information as to where. Or that somebody had a little nest egg somewhere. You know, if someone was squirreling away some money. Um, or taking your money. Because there's no love in this situation. So, you know, it's like uh, the love is gone. Or there was never any love. It was just money. It looked good on paper, right? It looked good on paper. So, Aquarius... Balance comes in right now when you don't do nothing. Okay, the justice there, 
in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, and the devil in reverse, right now, you don't need to do nothing because someone is going to come in and give you the information you need. That king of swords energy is someone who is, is working on your behalf in a situation and they're going to give you the information that you need. So, um, Aquarius, right now, you might just be treading water. If it's all about this at the end of the day. Mm, I see what it is, Aquarius. You want to go towards somebody. Or somebody wants to come towards you. Now, you know, this could be your energy, Aquarius, or someone that you're dealing with. We got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords here, Strength in Reverse, and the Ten of Cups. I think someone is wanting to come in, because this Ten of Cups is followed by the Nine of Cups. Some of you could be wanting to get out of a situation just because you want to go somewhere and be happy. You realize, when you marry for money, you earn every fucking penny, right? Uh... <laughs> Uh, this is definitely could be dealing with the baby mama type energy. I do see this king of swords. So this is someone that you're either paying or someone who's just going to give it to you straight what you can do. And you might not have a whole lot of options here. Some of y'all, it could just be a fucking loss. I'm getting like liquidating assets. You know, you can't liquidate the assets. Yeah, things look good on paper. It looks good on paper. It looks fucking great on paper. But as far as getting cash on hand, you know, uh, what good is it? I heard him say one time, was it Sam Walton? They had told him how much money he was worth. And he said, well, how much is that? You know, can you take me to like a bank vault and show me how much like cash that is? And of course, you know, no one has that kind of cash. Was it Walton or was it a Rockefeller? I think it was Sam Walton. Because, you know, he was a laid back guy. He was worth all that fucking money, but... You know, uh, he's like, they tell me I'm worth this much on paper, but where's the cash, right? Uh, you could have a shit ton of assets that look good, that make it look like you got a lot, but at the end of the day, you got no cash flow, right? <laughs> oh, you could be sitting on a fucking gold mine, but if the gold ain't fucking selling, you ain't got no cash on hand, right? So, <laughs> you know, you going through and selling shit in the mansion in order to fucking put food on the table. Uh, what looks good on paper isn't always, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you can't turn it into cash, cash on hand. This King of Swords is going to be very important to you. You're probably going to know who this King of Swords energy is. I think this King of Swords is going to be the one that brings the clarity that you need. Uh, I don't think you're necessarily going to like what this King of Swords has to tell you, but... I think at the end of the day, you know they're going to tell you the truth, right? Look at that dude. Uh, this is the kind of person that could MacGyver shit. You notice the little owl down there. He looks uh, maybe a little rough, but you know what? That's because he knows how to make shit work. He's going to get to the root of the problem. He's going to get the root to the uh, root of the situation. Some of y'all, this is, you know... Investigator, private investigator, lawyer, paralegal type energy. It's going to say, hey, you know what? This is the only option that you got. Sorry, but this is it. Things look good on paper. You just can't liquidate it. Aquarius, where the hell did that energy come from? I don't remember the last reading I did for you guys. Anything else from my Aquarius Collective? So, Aquarius, definitely check out Leo's energy. You might be dealing with the Leo. Or a Leo could factor in. Again, this could be your energy or not. Not every reading's for you. Uh, take what's yours and leave the rest. Anything else for my Aquarius Collective? Because Aquarius, <laughs> uh, you can think positive that maybe this King of Swords is going to be able to help you out in some way or another. But I think this King of Swords is just going to basically lay it out and tell you this, this you're just going to have to, we can do X, Y, Z, and after that, there ain't shit else you can do. You're, this could be like the, the one person that you actually listen to, and that's where you base your decision off of. 
But again, I don't think you give a fuck. You just want to get out of one situation so you can run your ass to another. Okay? I think it's uh, kind of like when you marry for money, you earn every penny. Let's just see what wants to pop. Anything else from my Aquarius Collective? Anything else from my Aquarius Collective? Yeah, because I'm getting that energy of, uh, you know, you could be living in a big old fancy fucking house and be driving fancy fucking cars, but you ain't got no cash. You know, you can't buy shit. It's all tied up. It's all tied up. Yeah, the tower in reverse with the nine of wands. Justice in the upright, will of fortune, knight of swords with the magician in reverse. Yeah, the tower in reverse with the nine of wands. There's, uh, it's going to come. You're trying to protect yourself, but you know it's going to come. Some of y'all, this is just staving it off, right? You're selling the furniture to put food on the fucking table. Karma is coming in to balance out this situation. Justice in the will of fortune. Someone is wanting to take action here. This Knight of Swords energy, just be weary with the magician there in reverse. Um, what I'm really feeling with this is um, don't, don't sign any papers. Don't, don't do anything until you talk to someone who actually knows what's up. Because that magician energy there, I feel like it, it's almost like a whirlpool. Don't run into something that could actually end up sucking you into it. So this is, uh, dot your I's, cross your T's, and ask the right fucking people. And if you really doubt something, maybe get a second fucking opinion. Um, balance and justice is coming into a situation, though. Uh, it's going to balance out one way or the other. That will of fortune might be to your benefit, might not. But I'm really getting with this. Don't rush into something that might not be what you want. Because remember, that Knight of Swords was wanting to run off um, to someone else. Okay? So maybe just halt the brakes on that. Get out of one situation and take time to heal and breathe before you go into another. Because some of you, this could just be another, like, uh, it's just going to suck you dry. It's like a whirlpool. Um Especially if you're waiting on a settlement. People know you got money. Uh, or thinking you got access to money. Right? Keep that guard up. So you don't go running right into another fucking situation. Damn Aquarius. That's some interesting energy. But a smart, right? If you get out of one relationship, you get out of, get out of one situation. Some of y'all, this could be business related, but I'm really thinking it's more like uh, money or uh, marriage or something like that. Uh, could be dealing with family, uh, maybe an estate. Don't get done with that and go rushing into something else. This is when make learn the lesson from the past before you jump your ass into something new. You know what I mean? Or whatever the hell you gain with that will of fortune and that justice coming in. Anything you gain, if you go running into another situation blindly, you're just going to lose. It's gonna, you might as well just you know, piss it away because it's all going to go down the drain. So don't be doing, uh, don't make any major life decisions coming from a major life situation in your life. You know what I mean? Don't get out of one major event. And go rushing into another one till you get your fucking emotions settled down. You gotta grieve what the hell you left. You gotta deal with what the hell you left. Uh, you've left from. Uh, some of you, you gotta get your fucking finances and shit back together. Some of you figure out how you're gonna protect your finances again. Someone learn a lesson here, right? Just because it looks good on the outside, just because it looks, it looks one way, at the end of the day, doesn't mean it's going to present itself in, in a way that is uh, usable, right? You could have all the trappings of life, but if you owe uh, everyone and their mother for it, that's you're not really free and clear from it. You know what I mean? So Aquarius, keep that shit in mind. Damn Aquarius, that's a fucking reading. Uh, peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light.